Hi, beautiful. Everybody seems to feel way too confident coloring their hair at home. I don't know what it is. I don't know who gave them that confidence, but it definitely wasn't me. Today, people are picking up that bleach and they're crossing their fingers for the best outcome possible. And we're definitely not gonna get something good. So let's see how this DIY color unravels today. Up first, we have a video by Leah the Princess. I've had this blue green thing for a few months now. When I initially dyed my hair and bleached it, I didn't get it as light as I needed to. Whenever the blue fades, it always fades to this like very mucky green color because I didn't tone out any of the yellow. Yes, yeah, see, at least you know what the problem is. If you do not lighten your hair enough before putting a fashion color on, you're gonna get some weird fading. You definitely wanna make sure you lighten your hair to a nice pale yellow. There's a lot going on. She's got the dark spots of blue. She's got the light spots of blue. She's got some dark brown roots. All these spots need to be hit with either a different developer or at different times with the lightener to make sure everything develops to the same level at the same time. And that's the hard part. It's definitely not gonna happen. I'm going for more of a bubblegum cotton candy color. Oh, sh**. So we're going to a pastel color. She's gonna get that sh real even if she wants to do a pastel color. I don't know how she's gonna accomplish that, but good luck. So what we're dealing with is fresh growth, virgin root, maybe this much, brown root color that we need to bleach out. Underneath the brown root color, we're dealing with spotting and hair that has never been dyed before and never been bleached. Down here, we're dealing with hair that has been bleached a lot. So I think if I just do this one process and lift everything, I can see where the dark spots are and go in with a second process. I like the concept. I think that's a decently good idea. I would go with all the roots first with say a 20 volume. So it lightens very slowly. We don't want this to lighten too fast because we have a lot of work to do. Then go in from the bottom up, take paper thin sections, go on every little dark spot with maybe 20 volume, maybe 10 volume. I don't know. I have to see in person. Once those spots are all lightened, okay, to a nice yellow color, we're going to then go in on all the lighter blue spots and get those lightened as well. And once everything is processed, it should all turn out one even color. And I say should. Sometimes semi-permanent colors and lightener react weird. Sometimes you can't get the color out. Sometimes you have to do extra steps. Sometimes you can't get it right at all. It's a lot of work. Once we get it light enough, I'm going to go in with a toner to get out all of the yellow. And then we're going to go in with the blue color. Oh, I'm also going to cut my hair today. I think I'm going to cut it before I dye. We got a whole lot to do. The idea of trying to get this completed in one day, I just don't think it's gonna happen. We're gonna do the wolf cut method. You just wanna make sure you're brushing all the bumps out and getting the hair to lay as flat as possible. We're doing a little wolf cut, which I think is also a great idea. Always do your chops before you do the bleaching because you don't want to waste money on bleach that is just going to be cut off at the end. Plus it's way less work if you do the haircut first because you have less hair to color. Nice, looking fluffier. Nice. Shaggy. It's looking the same, maybe a little bit better. I don't know, I have to see it all blown out and sh How am I gonna know? Let's just get to the color part. That's what we all came for, come on. And as always, I'm using the L'Oreal Quick Blue Powder Bleach and 30 Volume Cream Developer. Definitely a strong formula. I might use this if I were only doing her root retouch and I was doing it in sections, right? So if we're doing the back first, we can time that for like 35 to 45 minutes to an hour. We can rinse off the back sections before the front section so everything turns out even. I don't think she's gonna do that. 30 volume while she's correcting the ends is a lot of power. It's going to risk over processing her roots and making things way too light at the top of her head. Honestly, I probably should be doing like these mid sections first, but again, I don't know where the color is and where the virgin hair is. I'd rather just have it all lift, see where the dark spots are, so. Okay. I mean, when she pulled at her hair like that, I was like, F she's so screwed. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how you're gonna do this. Yeah, she has like two inches of regrowth. This way she's about to do it. She's gonna end up with banding and light blue and dark blue and light blonde and all this sh that she then has to correct after. It's getting really scary now. I don't know. 
quo, your ends are going to overprocess so much. They are going to be so white and snap off. Your roots need a good 45 minutes to an hour of processing time and your mids and ends need like maybe 15 minutes with 30 volume. I wouldn't go past that because they are already pre-lightened to a nice pale yellow or a nice yellow like you said in the beginning of the video. This is really gonna cause some major, major breakage. Don't do that. And we're applying with our hands. Where is the brush? Why are we starting here? Everything is really scary right now. She's gonna end up with a lot of spotting on her head if she keeps applying like that. Fuck, 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 fuck. I feel like my application process has been decent. Well, your application process, I would give it like a four out of 10. I would love it if you used a brush, you work from the bottom up, you took paper thin slices horizontally up your head, you separate it into four sections before you started. That would make me really happy. All right, and you start with the back, so you can rinse the back before the front. This would all help to make everything really even and not cause any breakage. The way you're doing it, gonna cause breakage and it's gonna cause patchiness. So fuck. You can see the bottom sections are already pretty lifted. I can already tell that front hair, her hairline doesn't have enough lightener on it and there are spots everywhere that are going to be brown. If you can see through the bleach that much, you have not applied enough. It should be a thick white layer that you cannot see through. <sighs> We're gonna check it like every 15-ish minutes. Those ends are already lifting to a pale yellow and her roots are still brown. That means there's her hair is going to fall off. She's gonna still wait until those roots lift. Oh God, that's not a good idea at all. Oh, nice. So yeah, the mid sections, as I thought, are still kind of orange. Let's give it another 15. No, no, no. Please don't give it another 15. Please, 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 please. That little light blueness going on will wash out in the shower. And if it doesn't wash out in the shower, once you put your toner on your hair, it will go away. Toner has a funny way of lifting out just that little bit of like leftover fashion color in your hair. It just completely goes away. My hair was completely blue. I bleached it. It had a little bit of like light blue tint to it. I put a toner for blonde over it and it goes away, all right? It just kind of falls out of the hair strand once you rinse the toner for some reason. It is pretty even, which is good. And there wasn't too much breakage. There's still a few pieces that have like tones of blue and green towards the bottom, but that's fine. Oh God, something tells me we're not done with the bleach, are we, huh? No, we're definitely not. And it looks like it's about to snap off. Ah! Where it's still like pretty golden, almost orange. And I just don't think that these these pieces are going to be light enough to be affected by the toner that I bought. Oh, that's a dangerous, dangerous section to still have warmth in. Where she has that orange band, it's between white and white, nearly overprocessed hair. So if she even overlaps on that white part of her hair at all, which she is definitely going to do because in order to not overlap, she's gonna to need to have somebody doing the back of her hair. She can't see the back. So if she overlaps on that white hair, it's going to snap. We can't put more 30 volume for an hour on those strands. They will snap off, I promise you. Okay, so this is where we're at. My hair is very dry, but it isn't breaking. And as you can see, we do have this midsection situation where it's significantly darker. I really don't wanna bleach it again, but I kind of think I have to. Those ends are like, uh, please give me oil, give me oil, give me water. Please give me a deep conditioning treatment, please. I'm a little worried this is where it all goes wrong and my hair breaks off. It definitely is, so get ready. This is the time that it goes wrong and it breaks off. That's really bad. That's like fully still brown. Oh, the back of her head is literally half brown. How did you manage to miss that much hair? <laughs> the sections are so spooky. It's so, so spooky up there. Do you see that zigzag line she just took <laughs> as a section? What the f was that? I see so much color on her root right now and we got to avoid that. We have to. So it's definitely improved. Underneath it's sort of still not the greatest, but my hair is melting off now. We're not gonna do that anymore. Well, you pushed it to the f stream. I'm surprised that was the only breakage that you had. I'm not gonna lie, you were doing a lot of things wrong. I'm sure it's apparent because I've been pointing them all out, but if it wasn't apparent, you've been doing a lot of things wrong. It looks a little bit better, but it's not great. So we have the ion 
cream in snow cap. Your hair is not light enough to be a snow cap. And using an Ion 10 volume developer. So happy she's not using 20 or 30 because that hair would have melted off to the ground. To the actual ground. Oh, I don't like that. I like that it's turning purple because you need a lot of strength to kick that yellow out. Let's give this 30-ish minutes. I think the ends are gonna come out nice and gray. Not sure about the top. I did not expect that I was going to be able to achieve such an even blonde. It's not perfect. Also, if I had been dyeing my hair intentionally to leave it blonde, I would add a slightly darker root, like a medium blonde root, because it's a little too bright up here. This is not staying for very long, but this is where I'm going to end the video. And then after that, I am definitely going to the blue. The result is not great. It kind of green, yellow, silver, blonde, which always to me screams like either I use too much purple shampoo or I don't know which toner to put in my hair and I did it myself or a DIY blonde. But she did mention if she was gonna keep it blonde, she would do a nice shadow root, which I totally, totally agree. For me, like I don't love it. I'm not really vibing with it. I don't think it does anything for her skin tone. The blue would look a lot more optimal for her. I mean, like at least she got something that was was decent because that was spooky all the way through. <gasps> Oh, hey, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in a different outfit right now because I was just filming for Life In and I was doing a cute little shoot for them and I wanted to show you guys the shoot because I, I like it a lot. I also love my life in blow dryer. Don't make fun of me. I was feeling myself today. Whenever you see me using a blow dryer on TikTok or YouTube, it is this blow dryer. I love it so fucking much. Let me tell you actually something. I haven't told anybody this. I haven't even told Life In. When I first got this product, I honestly thought there must be something wrong with it. This is like a fourth of the price of all competing brands on the market that are up to par with Life In. Second of all, this blow dryer is better than any other blow dryer I've used thus far. It is lightweight. It is sexy. It is sleek. It is powerful. It is so quiet. It dries your hair so, so quickly. This blow dryer it will blow dry your hair faster than ever before. The technology built inside this is so innovative. If we take a look inside this thing, it is like a work of art. Like it is just incredibly well made. You can be sure if you drop this thing once or twice or a few times, it's not gonna break. Like it is heavy duty. It is ready to withstand anything you put it through. It has a majorly long cord and it has this beautiful piece. When you wrap up the cord, you put it around and you put this thing through that thing and the cord stays together. For people with OCD like me, keeping my cords organized and looking beautiful at all times is so important. This thing is beautiful. This shine the luster of the product. This blow dryer is also not matte, so I don't have to worry about getting color stuck in it. It also lights up in beautiful colors as you blow dry the hair. This blow dryer is also great for everybody that's in today's video because this blow dryer will reduce damage on your hair significantly. It has a mode where it actually rotates through cool, warm, and hot settings. That way your hair never overheats and you never experience breakage. You have different kinds of pieces for diffusing, precision blow drying, as well as rough dry. Plus, it's in this sexy color. You can also see the other colors this blow dryer comes in with the link right down below on Lifen's website. Of course, I have a major deal for you. I'm giving you $80 off your purchase of a Lifen blow dryer starting tomorrow. This is Lifen's lowest price of the entire year. Get it now while you can. You will not regret it. Now is the time to elevate your hair game and look hot as hell. Up next, we have a video by Savannah Duro. We're doing something with my hair. These are the products Reason. Okay, 20 volume cream lightener. We should all know by now that I don't like cream lightener. I don't get it. I don't know how it works. It's weird. And then we have T14, which could work, but we never know because usually people apply it to their orange hair, which doesn't really work like that because T14 is very blue. If you put blue over yellow, you get green. Okay. <laughs> 
it looks like we have enlisted our mother to help out with the process. Let's just analyze Miss Savannah's hair for a second, shall we? Come close, come close, come closer, come closer. Okay, back up. Savannah has very light roots. She looks like a natural blonde, which I'm sorry, but if you're naturally blonde, you have two choices. Either you color your roots every other day to make sure you never have blonde roots because it just looks weird when you have blonde roots and dark ends, or you go blonder. Or I guess there's a third option. I guess there's three options. You just wear your natural color. Pick one of those. I'm kind of seeing what's going on back there. I'm kind of not at the same time. There's always like a theme right? There's always doing something that triggers me. I guess I'm very easily triggered. That's also the thing. But everybody seems to start at the top of the head, not at the bottom. It would just be so much easier if we started at the bottom of the head and not the top. But anyways, mom is, I think, just going on every single hair strand from roots to ends, which I hope she isn't because we should really do the mids and ends first and then do the roots once those lighten up. But we shall see what she's doing back there because I cannot see. Mom is diligently working on the back of the head and I can already tell <laughs> that she is coloring everything from roots to ends. She is going to end up with hot roots. We are screwed. One thing I will say that mom is doing nice is being very, very thorough. All right, she is taking those sections paper thin and she is coloring every little strand back and forth, back and forth, doing all of it. So I can definitely appreciate that. Honestly looking really good. What? Are we looking at the same head of hair? Cause you say it looks good and I say it looks terribly spooky and scary. And that's because your roots your roots are blonde and your ends are orange slash brown. You actually want to see everything being evenly lifted. So this to me is scary. To you, maybe not. I did the first round of bleach and I washed it out. I don't know if you can see, but it definitely needs a second bleaching, which I expected because my hair was so dark, but it honestly got a really good amount of my hair and we have a toner that I'm going to put on once it's all actually bleached. So. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so we have white blonde roots, yellow midsections, bright orange slash nearly red lower mids and ends, and I hate it. Oh, this is going to be a color correction that we need to do a lot of work on to make it look good. Good luck fixing that. Sorry, I was drooling while I was speaking. What I would recommend doing is hitting those darkest parts first. Let that process to a nice yellow. Then go in on the yellow sections and do 20 volume and lightener. And let everything process until it's all even. And then you fingers cross while you rinse it out. And then you tone it and you say, oh, or you say yes, depending on what the result is. We're gonna bleach it again because it's not good. Oh, it's even worse in the back. So here's the deal. It was literally ginger, so we bleached it again, trying to fix it. Didn't work, looked the exact same. I washed that second one out, and then she cuts it. Three quarters of my hair is red. And I got a toner at the store, kind of see? It's like a bluish toner. I'm gonna rinse it out right now and hope it does something. I have no clue. And then I got these at Walmart. It's just a purple shampoo and then a purple conditioner. Oh. Whoa, we miss a whole damn chapter. So she bleached her hair for the third time and she cut it to her shoulders to try and get rid of the red. And now we are trying to tone it with a blue toner. Blue over orange makes green, not a good idea. And we're using purple shampoo as if that's gonna solve any problems, which is not going to because her hair is not light enough to use purple shampoo. Purple shampoo is a maintenance product. It is a toner, but it's like a maintenance toner. It's a very, very light, gentle toner. I just confused you more, didn't I? That's okay. This was the biggest flop of like all time. Like the top is so good, the top is perfect, but the bottom is ruined from all the box dye I've done. No, we need those roots to match the ends. Screw trying to match the ends to the roots because that's just not happening today with this technique, all right? The easiest thing you can do right now is just color the roots darker to make it even. It's the next day. It was still pretty orange today and now we're bleaching it one more time. Do not bleach it again. The roots are blonde. If you have the desired color you want, why do we keep bleaching the spots that are the desired color? Just lighten the parts that are not the desired color. I'm not getting the logic. I rinsed it out. Now we have toner in. And this is the moment of truth. 
it's a lot better than it was it's still not perfect like it still has these areas where it's kind of orangey so i don't know what i'm gonna do so i think i'm just kind of gonna like live with it and let it grow and keep touching up the roots and like keep chopping it short because i do like this length on me here's some pictures too Oh no, I wish I was there to help you because this is so soluble. What I would do right now for you is if you want it to be all one color, choose like a level eight toner. Something that has some warmth in it so that you just tone the parts that are not that sort of yellowy color and then it'll make everything all an even more warm toned sort of like gingery blonde which will look really pretty on you. Or if you want everything really like much more ash silver blonde, you could do a root shadow with like say a level seven and then tone the ends at a level eight but more of an ash tone or sort of something more blue to cancel out that orange. That will look really good also i mean listen take everything i say with a grain of salt i have to examine your hair in real life i can't really tell through the screen exactly what you need but generally that's what i would do it's easily fixable you just need the right toners you can make this look so unbelievably good but right now it's missing the mark a little bit for me please don't go to black brown please don't this looks better on you than the brown for sure i love the blonde up next we have a video by ali sky today i'm going to be bleaching my hair i want to fix this part here where my roots have grown out and then I also want to just do like a bleach bath on my entire head. I dyed my hair black and I kind of just want it closer to my natural color now. Okay. Okay. Oh, my armpit is so itchy. So she's trying to lift all of her hair to blonde. Oh god. We got the dark roots, we got the red brown ends. I feel like if I can see that right through the screen. Sort of a warm, dark, dark brown that has been box dyed. And then we get that blonde in the front. So we got a lot of things we gotta keep in mind here. So we're gonna wanna bleach those roots first, then go in the dark sections. Probably about 20 volume on the roots, 30 volume for like 15 minutes on the ends or 20 volume. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. Here's this, and then I'm just using 20 volume developer as well. Okay, I'll take it. I feel like my hair bleaches really easily. Oh God. One day, I just wanna see somebody take a horizontal section that is your challenge then again if you guys do too many things right i'm gonna have no more videos to react to i'm putting myself out of business so maybe don't do it right oh i see the blonde going into the bleach and i don't like that because that causes breakage ah! i see overlapping too Ooh, this is scary i'm curious why we're only lightening these roots and not the entire head of roots because she's trying to go blonde all over. So why not just do all the roots? I'm very confused right now. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this blonde piece, which is why I let it grow so far. I don't know, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to have to deal with this all the time, but I like it. Okay, that went right onto the blonde, not even near the root. When we're applying this, if we're doing a root retouch, we wanna start at the root and then drag the bleach down a little bit, not onto the blonde section, but onto the rest of the root area, but we want to start actually on the skin, not on the blonde and then work our way up the other way. We're gonna let these sit for a little bit, I guess. There's something. I don't know if they're done, but there's something. Just until it's pretty similar to this color that I have everywhere else. So just not too long, just a few minutes. I'll insert a picture of my natural hair so that you know what I'm going for because this is very dark. It doesn't look like it because my eyebrows are very dark. Oh, 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 okay. So she's trying to keep that blonde streak in the front, but then lighten the brown hair around it to her, a bit more of her natural color. Good luck. I mean, okay. I'm okay with that. You are okay with it. I am not. Your roots are yellow. The midsections are white and the ends are looking silvery pink. I don't know what you're okay with. We underprocess those roots for sure, but whatever. We will do the bleach bath. Okay, we're doing a bleach bath, which honestly, I'm fine with. I think it's going to be enough to lighten our hair like a shade. That's kind of what she wants, but she really needs to not touch those roots at all because it is her natural hair color, but this much of it. And if she touches the roots of the bleach bath, they're gonna lighten really quickly and she's gonna end up with really blonde roots. She's probably gonna end up with orange ends, actually. This is gonna probably not look good. <laughs> we're just gonna go for it. Ooh, it's nice and soapy. Okay, the thing with bleach baths too, guys, we have to apply so much of it. Like we want to take that bleach and basically just dump it on the head and just continue to move it around until it's covering every single piece of hair. We are not going on the roots, but it looks like we're going really close to them and it's still scaring me. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna end up with hot roots. Ugh. Ooh, my hair sticks up. Oh, 
There we go. We were doing so good, sort of. And then we went on the route. You're gonna end up with hot roots. I have no idea what this will come out like because I have so many different dyes on my hair. Oh, these results are gonna be disastrous. We put more light in our, on the blonde part. The blonde part was already so damn light. And now that's gonna become even lighter. I thought we were just making the mids and ends lighter, but now the whole head's getting lighter. How did we end up here? It looks great when you look at it from here. Oh, f Oh, f It's spotty. It has blonde roots in some areas. It has dark roots in some areas. It's orange. It's yellow. It is everywhere, but nowhere that we wanted it to be. It's certainly something. We clearly have to do something about this. Oh, my God. God, I mean, not even the roots turned out even. Like there is some spots where it's dark still. How the fuck do we manage that? I'm glad she's laughing because I am concerned. So I have an old box of dye. Here we go, we got an old box. I know where this is going. We're going back to brown, aren't we, huh? I'm going to use this box dye that I had, 5A. I'm gonna try to just mainly put it on my roots. All right, well, I guess it's better than what we got going on right now, huh? box dieter ends please we just did so much bleach work to make them a little bit lighter we don't want to put more box dye on them it's gonna be even harder to lighten the next time oh. so i just finished applying the dye basically did the entire crown of my head and i just kind of ran my gloves through the ends of my hair i'm gonna clean up once again leave this for maybe only like 10 minutes i don't want it to be super dark you don't want to under process color there's a certain time usually it's like 30 to 35 minutes for color to work it's lifting your hair right it's like taking the natural pigments out of your hair and then it's depositing artificial tone into your hair if you take it off within 10 minutes it's only gonna get through the lifting process or maybe a little bit of the depositing process as well but not fully enough to like give you the desired result you want basically what i'm saying is you need to let it sit the full time or else it's just not gonna work so i just rinsed it out and i dried my hair obviously and it looks much better i mean it's still not great but it is a little bit lighter at the roots still damn it it's so patchy this is what happens when you under process color and i did miss a couple spots that are a lot lighter the overall is pretty good okay uh well i don't know just do another layer of the dark color because at this point anything else is gonna be a lot of fun work. That's my advice for you today. Sorry, I don't have anything better. I am already exhausted from the last two videos. This has been a lot today for me. Woo! <sighs> okay, well, those are tragic. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay. The people from today's video, I hope you're watching and I hope you're okay. Um, and I hope your hair looks better now. Uh, if you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links down below or go to xmodohair.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, beautiful.